Good morning, everyone. I'm Yao Chi Guo from Peking University. I'm glad to introduce our work, AI-based prediction of catheter-related thrombosis risk for cancer patients. This is a joint work between Peking University and Cancer Institute and Hospital Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, which, which is also known as uh, as part of the Tsinghua University of uh, the last speaker. Yeah. Ventus thromboembolism, short for VTE, is a serious medical condition where blood clots form in veins. VTE poses a significant risk to cancer patients, ranking as the second leading cause of death after cancer itself. One of the main reasons for VTE in cancer patients is catheterization, which is known as catheter-related thrombosis short for CRT. Catheters are medical devices that can be inserted into the body to treat diseases or perform a, a surgical pr procedure. It has two regular methods, CVC and PICC, as shown in the picture. Catheters are commonly used in cancer care for administering chemotherapy and other essential treatments, and they may stay in the patient's body for weeks or even for months. Current medical research indicates that the longer catheters stay in patients' bodies, the higher the risk of VTE for them. That can partially explain why cancer patients grow VTE more easily. So, CRT risk prediction is vital for cancer patients. It enables healthcare professionals to issue early warnings, allowing for targeted preventive measures. However, current CRT risk prediction models work poorly in accurately assessing risk for cancer patients. Risk success models, short for RAMs, are currently widely used for CRT prediction in hospitalized patients. They assign scores to risk factors and then add them up. These models often overestimate the risk in cancer patients, however. That tendency may lead to other problems because undergoing antithrombosis may lead to other medical conditions such as bleeding. Alternative AI methods are potential substitutes for traditional RAMs. However, existing AI methods may lack specificity for cancer patients, potentially providing inaccurate risk estimations. Our paper addresses the above-mentioned issues and then proposes AI-based prediction of catheter-related thrombosis risk for cancer patients. First, we collected data from 20,667 cancer patients. After data cleaning, we finalized in a data set compromising 10,512 patients, including 1,936 CRT diagnoses. The collected data set consists of 144 features. That is obviously too many for uh, our model. Considering the convenience and model efficiency, we evaluate their importance and p-value during feature selection. Ultimately, we get nine features, including chested radiation therapy, uh, chemotherapy, blood features, demographics, and catheter placement methods, which are uh, both considering the catheter and the features of the cancer patients. Although the p-value of some features is greater than uh, the regular 0 0.001, they're still selected because of clinical experience. These, uh, these features are uh, important in, uh, in VTE detection in basic uh, medical procedure. And then let's introduce the model. The model's inputs are formalized as vector XP, which includes the nine selected features. The output P represents the probability of CRT. We selected the CADBOX model for risk prediction. Patients with P greater than 0.5 are regarded as high risk. The whole model structure is shown in the figure. And we also use Kaplan-Meier method 
to give CRT free probability over time. The ST is the estimated CRT free probability at time TI. Uh, TI, rep uh, sorry. TI represents the distinct time point where CRT may occur. DI represents the CRT patient who develop at time TI. NI is the number of patients at risk just before time TI. We can conduct the evaluation on the data set we collected. The Catapult's model reaches a 0 0.794 AULC, which is 54.9% higher than the baseline. And the precision is 48.19, which is also a lot higher than the baseline Hollander model. The result of the CRT free probability model can help stratify and assess the CRT risk for patients of different types over a certain period of time. This offers a more nuanced understanding of CRT risk for patients and their doctors. As shown in figure A, our data, set, our data reveals that CRT is most likely to occur within the first month after catheterization. Uh, figure B validates our model's e effectiveness by categorizing patients into different risk groups based on the CRT risk prediction. Comparing catheter methods, uh, the figure C demonstrates that PICC carries a higher CRT risk uh, compared to CVC. Yeah, and to make full use of models, we designed and developed a mini program for both patients and doctors. The mini program has a three layer structure and we designed an event streaming, we named a diary, for patients to record their catheter situation. This diary function can help doctor monitor the CRT risk uh, and provide, doctor, uh, provide doctors with valuable insights into their patient's day-to-day -day health status. The prediction is supported by the AM model for um, cancer patients' CRT risk prediction and CRT-free probability model. And the prediction supports doctors to give cli uh, precise clinical advice to, the, to their patients. Then let's go through the mini program demo. For doctors starting using the mini program, they need to fill out a form of personal information for doctor qualification review, as in the as in, in uh, how to use this, uh, as in this picture, yeah. After they pass the review. They can add patients and check their patients with catheters. Our minogram primarily focuses on the hospitalization period, while also taking into account the condition of the discharged patients. Then, let's go through the diary part. First is the hospitalization information diary which should be written on the first day in hospital by the patients or by the doctors. It including some like uh, what cancer they carry uh, or if, uh, and information like their uh, treatment plans, which can be used in future uh, prediction. And during hospitalization, patients may undergo catheter care they can add a diary with the catheter situation and their feelings about it. And they can post their photos of the catheter onto the mini program for the doctors to check and they can give, uh, give the patients with uh, nursing advice and may even take invention measures when necessary. And the vascular ultrasound diary records the rescue uh, regular vascular ultrasound results, which is a gold standard for CRT de detection. The blood test diary records the results of their regular uh, CRT uh, regular diary te uh, blood test, and that that uh, that result is 
also essential for CRT risk prediction. Finally, using all the information collected, we offer the doctors a prediction of the patient's CRT risk, alerting them to targeted prevention. And also, at the end of the catheter, we will record whether the catheter ended due to CRT or not. Uh, you know, when we uh, detect the patients uh, with uh, CRT by ultrasound uh, checking, and they need to stop their uh, uh, catheters. But also, when they are discharged from the hospital, they also need to stop their catheters. So we need to check that for future research. And as for the patient's hand, they also need to fill in their personal information for better CRT risk prediction. The major use of the mini program is writing the diaries for them. They also could read the articles given by their doctors. And our future work includes mini program promotion and prospective research. Now the, the mini program has just been deployed and tested in two major cancer hospitals in China. We wish to cooperate with more hospitals to promote the usage of the mini program and use the new data for model improvement. We also wish to assess the clinical effectiveness through comparative experiments and measure the patient's experience of mini program improvement. And to summarize, our work includes AI, AI model for CRT risk prediction, CRT free probability model, and CRT risk prediction mini program. Thanks for your attention. Please refer to our paper for more information and feel free to ask questions. Thank you.